the extra weight. So having hollow bones is a great way of saving on that weight. You start at the morning with James and Rutting Impala. Well, Arethusa Airstrip is continuing that story. It's so silly looking when they do that. I do feel for them. Their hormones telling them to go racing after males and females and basically fight until they're exhausted. At the same time, I do actually have slightly more sympathy for the females who spend their entire lives, it seems, being chased by males with interesting intentions. <laughs> I'm up here. I'm staying up here until you get your hormones under control. I have a headache. Leave me alone. Staring down female that got caught up wandering back to rejoin the rest of the group and the two males off to the right now find themselves in a precarious position because they're on a, a tarred airstrip the one on the right doesn't seem to want to continue this any longer and a good decision because tar and animals can be quite slippery it's one of the ways that lions in the Kruger have learned to hunt things like giraffe by chasing them onto the tar and they slip it's the same thing with that buffalo that was being chased and ran into a car. It slipped. Just pressing home his advantage. The female's gone completely now. And now really the guy on the left is just proving a point. Right, he's established his dominance. And back to the ladies he goes. But, sneaky one on the right, still trying to get back. We die. <laughs> He's on to you, I'm afraid. Nice try, though. I appreciate the effort. Sometimes a bit of sneakiness works. <laughs> oh, 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 wait, I think I saw another male. Oh, there's some ladies and another male. Oh, I don't know what to do. Oh, the other males entered the fray. Oh, it's chaos. Oh, the other males taken advantage of the guy's lapse in attention. He's after the female. It's the female and the male. Oh, and the female's going to get away. They always do. And now there's a third male thrown in, and now I've completely lost track of who's who. No idea. This is like one of those fair games where you put the ball under one cup and then rotate it around. Round and round we go in the great circle of life. Ravine, you want to know whether or not Impalas sleep at night? Not at the moment. You don't have much opportunity for sleeping. They do sleep. I'm sorry. I'm being a little bit sarcastic. They, they do sleep at night. They sleep and nap for a couple of minutes, but obviously have to be very, very <laughs> cautious because you need to be constantly alert. So short naps for Impala and they will lie down. While our exciting scene plays out in front of us and we watch impalas go round the merry-go-round, it sounds like James has had an encou exciting encounter on foot. <laughs> 